quieres pasa aquí para entregar Susan, este presente es por pequeño reconocimiento por los más de 20 años de investigación acá para nosotros en realidad es, es un honor y dice por su valioso aporte en el desarrollo del conocimiento del comportamiento social del mono cara blanca en la Reserva Biológica Loma Barugual durante 25 años. Muchas gracias y para 25 años de mucho apoyo de ustedes es, ha sido un placer. But he definitely had this mono one. He, yes, I asked him in the okay. again. This is going to be rotten for a while, I think. I think this is the tree. Somewhere in this, I think. Pretty sure, because we're 20 meters away, so 14 meters away. Yeah. You do. You saw one. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Yay, we did it. We should be up by now. That may have been the last monkey leaving. Oh, that was a They're just like one like this. You see the monkeys? Yay! Social grooming contacted Ziggy, one of Hair Bear. So we use these group scans to get a sense of the association patterns in the group. So you could use that sort of data to make social network diagrams. And then continuously during those 10 minute periods, I'm recording every single social interaction, every vocalization. Adlib play wrestle, Yankees, and Vida. Adlib slap, Newt to Newton. Adlib threat, Newt to Newton. Here's the game. One of them's got something in his mouth and the other's trying to get it out. These monkeys will invent quirky behaviors. It turns out that these innovations then spread throughout social networks of animals that really trust one another. So this discovery of social traditions it was made possible because I was recording every single thing these monkeys did. They were ahead of us. Local leaves, one parmesan and Yankees. Five of Yankees, kind of odd. One really interesting thing about capuchins is the way they've converged with chimps and humans in so many ways, with the giant brains and the slow development, the omnivory, the um, strange cultural traditions. They come to this point via independent pathways. It's really interesting. So they're, they're kind of like the chimps or the apes of the new world. Jorge, the current alpha, is an immigrant from Splinter Group, so he's descended from the same patriline as the, the monkeys you met in Rambo's group. When there is a, a new alpha male, typically the first thing he does is kill all the babies who are unweaned, and that brings the mothers into estrus sooner, so he can breed sooner than he would otherwise. It's not like you have killer males and non-killer males. There's always this potential. A male who's very good at parenting and, and um, can have very tender relationships with offspring will still kill these infants when it's to his reproductive advantage. Females do not like alpha male turnover. They support, even if he's a jerk, they support the current alpha. They want to have stability as long as possible. I haven't seen R. Kelly. I haven't seen R. Kelly. And I think that's it. Buddy, is your code Bud? Yep. Okay. B-U-D. During the first year or two of life, the faces change constantly. So if you don't have a, a large crew of people monitoring these monkeys every month, you lose track of who's who. So it's, a, it's kind of a big deal. It's really important to keep this demographic data 
coming in constantly. It took, they took me a long time before I felt there really confident. There are a few hard pairs in this group. Yeah. That's well, it's not Madison. all this. That is, yeah, okay. They do, I think, know that we are active agents and that we communicate, but they sometimes will use us as a social tool. They will redirect aggression at other species. So he'll head flag, which is a recruitment, coalition recruitment signal, and then spin around and threaten, and they'll do a little embrace or a stacking posture, threaten me, and then go about their business. They're a very coalition-oriented species. Yeah, it's crazy some of these film crews say, no, we'd like to film you, and we want you to come into the monkeys in an exciting way, like maybe on a zip line or white water rafting. <laughs> and those are the film crews I just say, nope. I don't even on pursue that any further. <laughs> Do you have a cape? <laughs> Even if you start out like I did with a very ivory tower question, the evolution of intelligence, you get pretty attached to the animals and to the forest and you, you see it coming down, you know, the forest being destroyed and uh, you realize what a shame it would be to lose this species. And then you become more interested in the ecology generally and in, in the communities. Yeah? What? <gasps> really? Oops, sorry. Go oh, ahead. <laughs> should be right under you. Can you see this? I sold. Here it is. Yeah. Right over here. We extract DNA from it, and so then we can exclude hopefully all but one male as the father. So we want to know how their behavior is influenced by kinship. There's so much non-conceptive sex. When we got the, the genetic data, we were amazed that the alpha male is siring just about everybody. That's so Until he has daughters and granddaughters, and he does not breed with them, and then his allies breed with them. So it's a really intricate uh, mating system. Poop, can you ID the baby? So that must be Woozle. All right. Okay. It takes so long to get these. Beautiful. Half a lump just pooped. That okay. This one just pooped. Yes. This is a glorious moment in the monkey project. We have the the genetic structure of the population. We know their early development. We know all the social contexts in which they acquired all the skills they acquired. So we really have an amazing grounding in the natural history that will enable us to ask a lot of questions that nobody else could ask. This week we saw you go from 3.30 in the morning to 6 p.m., you know, and do a lot of the mm -hmm. hard work of it. After all these years, why do you feel like you need to still do all that when you have a team with you? Mm -hmm. Part of it is that I enjoy it, but the long-term viability of this project depends on me having face recognition of 250 monkeys or so. Also, a lot of the research I do involves uh, study of individual differences. And yes, I can pick some of that out of the, the patterns just by grinding numbers, but it really does help to know every monkey personally. It's fun just getting up and knowing that I'm gonna see something new every single day. I mean, I don't think I've ever had a day in the field where I didn't see something I hadn't seen before. So there will always be new questions and uh, no, I'll never be done. I just hope I get the data set in good enough shape that people can carry on where I leave off when I croak. But. And that was my last question. Not about <laughs> when I'm going to croak. <laughs>